Now, if you've been following this channel for any amount of time, you'll know that I specialize in working with large, powerful guardian breeds. And you'll know that I absolutely love breeds like Mastiffs and Shepherds. And it's what I've become known for is working with incredibly difficult and challenging behaviors with incredibly large, powerful guardian breeds. Now, even with my experience, my skill set, and my love for breeds, there is still the occasional case that absolutely strikes fear into my heart, gets my blood pumping, adrenaline going, and it's um, it's one of those cases that a lot of people wouldn't show just because of how dangerous and scary these uh, behavior modification and training sessions can become. And in this video, I'm gonna take you along for probably the scariest dog I've ever worked with. Now, this little Yorkie was just, let's face it, adorable. No, they're not the kind of breeds that I'm known for working with, but it still doesn't stop these breeds going into shelters, uh, being abandoned, being strayed, which is the case with this little Yorkie. Uh, we hoped that somebody would come forward and this dog had just been... Um, accidentally got out and lost, but with all the work they've done with the microchipping, nobody's answering, and we do believe that this dog had just been let out and left astray. So it is ready to be rehomed. And again, when I go to the rescue center, uh, working with the team there, when there's dogs that are ready to be rehomed, I always like to do a temperament assessment on the dog and help them find out if there's any issues that a future owner needs to be aware of. If there's any serious issues, then I can come in and offer, uh, that's where I volunteer and offer my services and behavior modification with these dogs to get them ready for their perfect forever homes and even with little Yorkies all the way up to Great Danes, English Mastiffs and German Shepherds they're still dogs they still have behavior problems and usually you follow a similar track so with this little Yorkie we wanted to get it out we wanted to assess it we look at the standard situation of uh, canine reactivity any kind of human reactivity, human aggression. We test resource guardian, what kind of things drive the dog. And with this little Yorkie, it is just um, absolutely adorable. Really happy, really happy-go-lucky, friendly. Uh, we assessed it with some of the German Shepherds that were in the next field that we let out to offer a bit of distraction. Seems quite chill around the... Uh... He's not freaking out, is he? Yeah. Quite a confident little boy. Uh, I was expecting incredible levels of fear with the Yorkie, but he kind of just brushed it off and wasn't too phased. Again, friendly, happy-go-lucky, um, very quiet for a Yorkie, not very yappy, which is excellent. Um, and one of the main things with Yorkie is around kind of resource guarding uh, and nipping and biting. They're the behaviors with these tiny teacup breeds I like to address. No, they're not gonna cause any massive danger, but if there is little children involved or uh, very elderly people, it's just anyone really. It's not just not pleasant to live with a dog like like that so we do lots of handling assessments resource guarding assessments how is it with having its ears checked its teeth checked its feet checked uh, being handled being held on its back uh, like cradled like a baby just to kind of gauge its temperament good puppy yeah no issues whatsoever because just because she's small and she wouldn't hurt me it wouldn't stop her wanting to have a pop at my fingers if she wasn't comfortable in being checked now again for somebody that likes these kind of dogs she's super chill so you'd be able to get her on the, for a breed like this that needs to be groomed a lot obviously she's comfortable being handled you could groom her vets can do what they need um yeah let's see how she is with you are a girl quite comfortable in letting me hold her like this and we just have a wonderful relaxed chill Yorkie here again completely signed off by me for people that are interested in, in giving this dog a home it is ready to be rehomed um, again Sophie manages all the rehoming inquiries so if you think you can offer this wonderful little Yorkie a home it's been completely checked off by me would make a wonderful little family companion um, absolutely adorable there is no denying that uh, Sophie at Femria Canine Leaders drop her an email um, and she'll help you go through the process of, uh, of rescuing this adorable little Yorkie if it's something that you think or maybe a family member or friend might be a perfect fit for it. Again, remember, we are in the UK, so you have to be UK-based and willing to travel to the Midlands to come and collect these pups. But uh, yes, 
a, uh, a terrifying case we had on our hands today, but it is amazing to be able to sign it off and say that it is officially ready for a wonderful forever home.